I got 51 seconds! Congratulations! Woo! But I think you can do better. K2 TV, come on, come on. K2 TV, come turn us on. A kid who has big dreams and ADHD. He gets so extreme and a little crazy. A doctor for a dad and a single for a mom. A crazy funny kid, so what could go wrong? Family fun activities? Remember to watch Remember more! My ninja news. <laughs> Just and remember to smash the subscribe button. And hit that bell notification so you, you don't miss a thing. Me. So today on Gabe 2 TV, we will review Multiplication Slam by Educational Insights. If you haven't had a chance to check out Gabe's review on Math Slam, also by Educational Insights, make sure you check it out now. So Multiplication Slam is the perfect game for those of you who are trying to improve your multiplication skills. It's for grades 3 plus and ages 8 and up. So you read the problem, you scan the possible answers, and then you slam the answer home. So each game is timed and the faster you answer the questions, the better you score. So increasingly difficult levels, flashing lights, and awesome sound effects helps keep your kid engaged while they're learning at the same time. And for some kids who may be a little bit ADHD, it really helps them to focus on what they need to do. Actually, nothing can stop me from focusing on the game. Unless you're like Gabe and you have laser-like focus anyway. So make sure you check out Gabe's review of Math Slam, also by Educational Insights, which we reviewed earlier on Gabe's channel. It teaches young kids the fundamentals of addition and subtraction. So what's up with this baby up? So the game is laid out like so. Obviously you have the power button, but it shuts down automatically after 90 seconds of inactivity so that the batteries get preserved. And for those of you who want extreme peace and quiet, there's a headphone jack so that your child can plug in his headphones so you have the LCD windows that shows the math problems and it shows the elapsed time at the end of the game so that you can compare your times to your best time. Woo! So then you have the answer paddles and then you press the paddle to choose the correct answer while you're playing the various games. At the bottom you have the game buttons with the name of the games on the button which makes for easy selection of which game you want to choose. On the back of the unit, you have the battery compartment, which can be removed with the use of a coin, and it requires three AA batteries to power. So to compare and contrast the multiplication slam with the math slam, the first thing we notice is the math slam is a larger game. Also, the math slam has fewer buttons. The math slam is for grades K plus and ages five and up. Whereas the multiplication slam is for grades three and up at ages eight and up. The first game is called Skip It, where you do skip count. So you choose a multiple with which to practice. After you choose the multiple to practice, you then press all the multiples on the answer paddles. So after you choose the multiple to practice, nine multiples appear on the answer paddles. Then you have to press the multiples on the answer paddles from lowest to highest. After you press the multiples in order from least to greatest, your final elapsed time appears in the window. And so you're playing against yourself. You're trying to beat your best time. I'm, let me choose. I choose five. <laughs> Seven seconds. I think you can do better than that, Gabe. Do it again. Pay attention. Press the button fully. Where's five? Seven seconds. Whoa, seven seconds. Good job. High five. I haven't even missed one yet. <laughs> you just missed one on the game before. So on Fast Facts, you choose a fact to practice. Then random multiplication facts appear on the LCD screen. 
You read the problem in the window and then you press the correct answer paddle. If you press an incorrect answer, just like in the math slam, that problem appears again at the end of the game to ensure mastery and comprehension. When you answer all 10 questions in your best time, appears in the window, which once again, you're trying to beat your best time so you're playing against yourself. So on Factor Frenzy, you choose a factor to practice. It's similar to Fast Facts, except one factor is missing. Just as a point of information, Factor Frenzy has nine questions, as opposed to three of the other games, which have ten problems. Not exactly sure why. So the fourth game is called Factor Pairs. So you press the two answer paddles that are factors of the answer in the top paddle. After you've answered 10 problems, your elapsed time appears in the window at the end. Okay, okay. So the final game in Multiplication Slam is called Sequence. So a sequence is shown in the paddles at the top, and you choose the paddle that completes the sequence. When you've correctly completed all 10 sequences, your elapsed time appears in the window at the end of the game. Congratulations! Woo! But I think you can do better. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video because me and Dad did! We Woo! really enjoyed playing Multiplication Slam. It is an excellent toy, which is also an educational toy. So if your child is trying to learn the multiplication tables for the first time, or if your child is trying to build upon the multiplication skills that they already possess, this is the perfect toy slash educational game for you. With its flashing lights, fun sound effects, and its increasing level of difficulty, this game is sure to keep your kid engaged for hours, even if they have ADHD. Hmm? And make sure you comment down below and let us know what you like to see on Game 2 TV! We out of here. Hi, I'm Gabe, and you've been watching Game 2 TV! If you want to keep up with the videos we're putting out, just click on the subscribe button below. If you want to see more toy reviews for kids, funny videos, uh, family fun for everyone, click on the list beside me, okay? For more, GameTube TV! So guys, high five!